What's up YouTube, my name is Mason Phelps and I hope you guys are excited because I'm about to show you a video I'm very proud of. This is a 20 minute montage of me working on my 1982 Honda Magna. It is a 1982 Honda Magna V45 with the 750cc motor. I bought this bike in 2020. I found this bike on Facebook Marketplace. I had learned that it had been sitting in a barn for about 10 years. So I paid $400 for this bike after a long day of haggling. Once this bike is finished, I plan to do a wheelie or a burnout on it and then sell it to one of my best friends. So throughout owning this bike, my father and I have been working on it in his garage. And not only has it been a great learning experience, but it has been an amazing time bonding with my father. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video because this has been an amazing experience in my life and I'm very proud of the work I've done. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you. Hey Nick, I need you to be the, the, the sexy lady on the bike. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got home the 1982 Honda Magna. Um, I bought it for $400 off a of dude in South Hutchinson. This bike's originally purple, but the sun has seemed to eat away at it. It's a 750. Um, what's what other really pertinent information about it? That six speed. Six speed, 39,000 miles on it. Dad's already getting cleaning. Um, shaft drive. What else is really important? It doesn't appear to have been ever dropped. I'm sure it has. But it probably has. Probably been dropped multiple times. This awful windscreen needs to come off ASAP. Yeah, that's the next thing. I'm going to take it out off. It has pristine hand grips. Uh, what else? See needs some repairs right here. But the bike does turn over. So we'll put a new battery in it sometime soon and we will look and see about, about that. But yeah, there's the first look. All right, guys, so I think we're gonna fill it up just like that. As it poured in the back? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're here at part one. Um, Currently, we are looking at trying to get the corrosion out of the gas tank of the uh, Honda Magna. So, side note, another project is going on. We have been trying to clean out the radiator in the 1931 Model A Ford. And we put, what was it called, rust remover? Yeah, it's on the floor over there. We have this Evapo rust that we use in the Model A. And we are going to recycle that fluid. And over here, we're going to put it into the Honda Magna tank. So. While that waits, we're going to come over here and work on the other tank. So what color was that fluid initially? Clear. So is it going to be bad that we're pouring already used liquid into the no, next project? They, it's, it says it's totally reusable. The seal on the top of the gas tank is leaking oh, shoot. into the tank. Yeah, it's not going to be watertight. Or you could, we could take one of your rubber gloves, cut the fingers off, and then tape it down. This just keeps flowing. It's a little backstory. This is the original radiator for the 1931 Model A Ford. And uh, the prior owner just didn't take care of it. So we've been doing some rust treatments, trying to get this radiator back on its feet. So we have some spare parts and that'll be a different video to show of us working more on the Model A. Right now we're focused on the Magna. 
I was thinking just cut the fingers off, slide the finger over, and tie it real tight. Real tight. This might be a little thicker though. Do you still have the fingers of it? Yeah. Why don't you put a finger over it and then do that? Okay. Grab some zip ties. line and I've got that this right here it's kind of beat up but well, I think this is the secondary fuel tank is what it is that's the reserve tank okay which is kind of different so we can blow up this fuel filter yeah. those air filter I mean yeah air filter well I got new fuel line we'll change that fuel line this is just a breather I think and then that doesn't look too bad so I think if we get... What about, look, there's fuel down inside. Yeah, fuel or water. What are the two different angles here? One's pointing up and one's pointing... It's just the difference in the, in the, so the, see the carbs? See, it's called a V45 because it's a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. and there's two carbs that are going, there's two cylinders up top and two cylinders on the bottom. And those angle differences are the carbs. Oh, okay. See, so you have one part here that looks like it's going down to this one, then the next one goes up, and then the next one goes down, and the next one goes up. That's interesting, okay. So we're gonna have to pull all these carbs out and clean the carbs. See how that's dirty there? And what is that? Put your finger down there. Smell that. What is that? It smells like fuel. Yeah, so there's nothing to worry about with that. Making progress though. All right, so it's, uh, what is it, like probably 8, 30, 9 o'clock, Dad? We've been working on the on the bike. Um, it looks like the dome lights are working as well. The, the dash lights for the... Is it a dome light? Yeah, see, I... I just get a motorcycle with a dome light. Not a dome light, you know what I mean. The, uh, y'all are haters. The dash lights? Yeah, the dash lights. Oh, yeah. They're lighting up. And so we've been playing just with the... The highs, the lows, takes a second for him to switch. Did, what just happened there? That's interesting. Uh, there might be a short um, that we gotta work out. Turn signals don't work. Uh, they just shut off when you try and use them. But, the tail light. I need to order a couple of uh, new headlights too. I need to get one for this. None of those here. work? So I'll order two. Our two we are making progress. All right, cover your ears. I'm gonna take a ramp and we're gonna load the bike up into the bed of the truck. So I'll set you guys down so I can talk real quick. All right guys, so we're gonna load the bike up. I'm gonna take it down to the highway patrol office so that I can uh, register it. I gotta get the bin inspected because I am buying it on bill of sale. But because of that, they have to do a bin inspection which makes sure the bike isn't stolen because I don't have a title. So um, I'm gonna head on to the DMV, and then along the way, my, I haven't really told my dad yet, but I'm gonna stop and get him some donuts because it's something that runs in my family. So um, I'm gonna stop and do that. My sister even has a donut tattoo. All right, guys, so I'm here down at the Highway Patrol office in Hutchinson, Kansas. I just waited for almost three hours to get my bin inspected. And I don't know if any of y'all know about that, but literally all they do is just make sure, uh, they take a, co a copy of your VIN and they make sure that your vehicle isn't stolen. So that was that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but now I'll go take the bike and get it registered. I have to go get it insured first, so I'm gonna run home, go on geico.com or something like that. and get my stuff insured. Let me turn the music off so YouTube doesn't copyright strike me. But um, yeah, so I'll take you along with that adventure. Hope you all enjoying this.
<laughs> Got some donuts. Hey guys, so I'm here in the garage. Today's Monday, June 1st. I just got back from a trip to Colorado, so I haven't been seeing the bike for about two weeks now. And all my parts off of eBay and Amazon should have came in. So over this next part, we're gonna go through, um, uh, we're gonna take off our valve covers and work on those a little bit. And then um, the carburetor's off the bike right now. You can't really tell from this angle. Winston can, but uh, we're going to rebuild the car with the carb kit off of eBay. So after that, we should be able to put the tank back on and hopefully start the bike. So I'd be super excited if I can get that done before later this week. Earlier in the video, um, I took you guys out and tried to register the bike today, and um, the office was just too full, so I didn't get a chance to actually register it. The only things will be left after that, if I can get the bike running here soon, we'll just be getting my license so I can legally drive. Uh, just no one would want to ride illegally, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so it's Mason here and I'm totally not filming myself and driving. Today I went back into the DMV. I was trying to figure out how to register the bike and I learned that in Kansas, it doesn't matter how old the bike is, if the bike has been registered within the state, I have to register it with a title. So I contacted my original owner of the motorcycle, asked them to basically file for a new title. Then they will sign that title over to me and then I can go register the bike. So that'll be a six to eight week wait I guess in the meantime, I'm gonna focus on getting my motorcycle license. It is what it is. All right, YouTube, so we are back in the kitchen at my father's house and we are about to rebuild the carburetors. So we have a schematic right here that has all of the working pieces of the carburetor on the 1982 Honda Magna. We also have intake boots and car boots and XYZ. I had to run down to the local AutoZone, not sponsored to get some of their car cleaner. That's the cheapest stuff they had. So, um, other updates. Waiting on the title. My dad was ta taught me a little lesson about the titles. How I should probably uh, register a bike before I go ahead and dump money into it, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but you live and you learn. So we got downtime while we wait for this title to come in. So we're gonna keep on working on the bike. So I'll have you guys follow this process and show you what it looks like and get back to you when we get to the middle. So stay tuned. All right, hey everybody. So I got the first valve cover off. I don't know if you can see this right here, but it was kind of a pain. Everything in here seems to look like it's pretty good, but I need to label all of my spark plug cables and where, this, where they plugged in at so that when I put it back together, um, I don't put them in the wrong spot because that would be atrocious. So there's another valve cover over here. It's underneath where the actual coil is at. So I'm going to have to go through and take that out as well to create the space. So it's a little bit of a process, but it'll definitely be worth it in the end. So catch up in a minute. All right, so we're here like, I don't know, five hours later after a lot of work. And uh, we, ju we just, um, adjusted the valves. It was a total pain in the butt. I don't know if you can see in here, but I, I labeled all the numbers so I could get back to them. And it's just, we had to make sure there was the right gap between the valve and the springs and stuff. And it took, took forever, but now we're gonna end up putting the valve covers back on. So, father's over here and we're short of gasket. We can reuse the, the, middle, the middle one, right? Which one, that's this. We're short a gasket. All right, well, the fun continues. My father and I just got the uh, valve covers back on. That took a lot longer than we thought. Um, they're adjusted. Hopefully they'll stay the way they're supposed to be. Well, <laughs> yeah, the valves. Thank you, <laughs> appreciate. And um, got the, just all, the, all that covers back on. Everything's back where it needs to be. Um, leave it the way you had it, just so you don't have to scramble. And so, what would you say is left to do on this one, Pops? We gotta sit, we gotta rebuild the cars, put that back on, put the cars on. We need to do the gasket for the alternator there. Um, 
It's close though. I mean, we did everything we needed to print the brake, the brake fluid. We did the diff, we did the oil. Uh, coolant will be redone. Um, brakes need redone. Maybe get some new mirrors too. I don't know how I feel about these ones. But, I mean, they'll do the job for the time being. So. But it's looking pretty good, it's getting close. I like the progress. All right, guys. So we are back in the garage with the Magna 750 build. And uh, today we're gonna be painting. So I don't know if you can see a little bit of wear and tear on the floor on those mats. But this morning, father and I got up early and uh, did some touch up paint on the Suzuki. Trying to get that thing ready to sell. I don't think he wants to keep it. So we're getting that in immaculate condition. And then today I am gonna be repainting some of the spots. I don't know if you can see right there, where I have been sanding down, trying to get rid of all the rust. So we got some really fancy smanchy rubs and rust encapsulator paint. Let's the camera turn around here. I wish you could see the title of it, but if you really, if someone really needs to know, I can figure it out for them. But I'm just gonna be painting and taking some pieces off. So I'll show you all that process along the way. And uh, the bike is just, the, uh, the bike is uh, almost ready. So I hope, I hope y'all like it. I know my main man Winston likes it. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys. So, what's up, pops? I'm like halfway done with the frame right now. Uh, how do you think that looks so far? Looks good. I don't know if you can see kind of right here. Just covered it with paint. You can kind of see in the corner. Right. Thing looks pretty good. So, I'll get back to y'all when it's completely done. Hey, everybody. So, I'm back after about 30 minutes of painting. Um, all I really did was just brush it on. I mean, I'm by no means a professional, but the goal was just to cover all the rust spots and all the places that I took down the metal that were pretty bad, just so that it wouldn't keep spreading. So this is actually where the coolant flows through the frame. It looks kind of rough, but kind of shiny. So I'm trying to work on that and make it look a little better, but painted the stand and making progress. And my step mom just got home, so let's wrap things up. Hey guys, so I'm here at the end of uh, 1982 Honda Magna. We're working with the Honda out here. So, um, a lot of things that happened off camera. Winston, Winston, please be quiet. A lot of things that happened. So, first thing we did is we took out the air box here up front. Um, we did that really late. We also took out the carburetors, um, but also the car boots. Um, the gas tank is off, which we saw earlier in the video. Um, took off the seat, and then um, we've just been putting some work in. We're gonna hopefully, we have some parts in the mail. We're waiting on those to come in. Those should be here right at the beginning of June 2020. Um, yeah, keep for watching.